Tracy here with BibleJournalingMinistries.com and today I'm going to show you how to make bookmarks out of those cute patches that came with the Revival Camp Traveler's Notebook. I love these patches and so I knew I wanted to make something special with them. So I'm making these really cute bookmarks. So you can see here that I have this one here for fellowship. And once I finish this Bible journaling entry, I will give myself this badge and place it in there permanently. Well, not permanently, because here's what will happen is I'll finish this, I'll put it away for a little bit, then I'll come back and say, oh my gosh, these are so cute, I have to put them in my Bible. So then they'll go in my Bible probably eventually if I'm being totally honest. But let me show you how to make them. This one is super cute. And all you need for this are your patches from the camp or the revival camp kit. So you need your four patches. You're going to need four paper clips for, and I use really large paper clips that are colored. You can use ones that are not, like this one is not colored. You're gonna need some fabric or some ribbon, whatever you have. I've got like a ton of it here just lying around and I'm gonna figure out which one out of this I'm gonna to use to make the example one. And for this one, the one I, this one here that's really cool and frayed looking, what I used for this one is a piece of ribbon that came, I think it came around a blanket someone gave me as a gift. And when they gave that this to me as a gift, the blanket, I was like, oh, I have to save that the ribbon because I can use that in my craft. So you can see it has some Velcro and I might even save it for the Velcro later because I always like to reuse whenever I can. But I basically took this ribbon and I cut it in half like this because what happens when you cut ribbon in half is it starts to fray and I think that it gives kind of a neat look to it. So you can cut it in half like I did here um, and then you can just cut the other end of it off too so there's no more kind of binding or anything for you there. Okay so that's that. And then if you're going to use this, let's say if I was going to use it in this white one, the way you create these cute little ribbon bookmarks, it's really easy. You basically lay your paper clip down the way, so this is front facing, right? This, this side will be front facing. So you lay your ribbon down the way you want it to face, and then you just hold it up against the back of it. This is my process, but you, could, you can do anything you want. So now I know the face is gonna be this way, right? All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thread the the ribbon up through the hole on the top and I'm going to do it on the other side too. I'm going to thread it through the hole in the top. Okay and once you get that through the hole, come on through the hole, you can already see that ribbon start to fray which I think creates really a cool look. Then you can pull it to give yourself that finished look to that ribbon. And then what I like to do with these ribbons is I like to sometimes fray the end and it gives it like this really kind of grungy look to it. And I just love crazy looking things. I don't, if you like it nice and neat, that's totally cool. But I, I was just having so much fun making these little bookmarks. And then it's just, you know, it'll fall apart on you for sure. <laughs> but you know what? It was free and it didn't take us very long to make. And then I just kind of yank these out. Just yank them out, yank out the sides to your content, to your heart's content. You could do all of it if you want to. I don't do all of it because I like it kind of grungy like this. And then you've got this really cute bookmark after you get rid of all the fluff that falls out from underneath it. If you want to secure the back of it you can with a little glue. Just go ahead and add a little bit of glue on the back of it here and it won't go anywhere. Okay? So you take your glue gun and just a tiniest bit of glue. Not a lot. You don't need it at all. But if you just want to make sure it doesn't unravel on you, just put a little piece of glue on there. And then you can put this in your Bible Ooh, it's not done. It's still wet, but you can put it in your Bible or your traveler's notebook and you have it ready to go. But what I like to do, because I have these really cute 
badges is make these little bookmarks. So, I mean, obviously I could use this. I could probably put prayer on that and that would be pretty cool. But I'm going to see if there are other colors maybe to use. So let's do one together. And feel free to use anything that you have on hand. Any kind of leftover anything really. Like this is super cute. This is just, I don't know where I get this stuff. It just shows up. <laughs> I think that I try to save as much as I can. And then sometimes I just end up with with more. Okay. Well, I didn't find another white paper clip. So, hmm. I am going to Maybe I should use a blue paper. I could probably use the blue paper clip maybe. I think it'll be fine. All right, so again, this is face down. So my ribbon is going to be opposite, right? So the face of the ribbon is going to be pointing down. Okay, and then I'm going to feed it through the holes. And in fact, I want to go a little bit over here just in case I can save a little bit of that ribbon and maybe make two. I don't know if it'll work, but at least I won't be wasting the ribbon. Okay, so fed it through the, the hole in the top, right? So that's the hole in the top because the, the face of the ribbon is a little bit down, so that creates that hole. And then just pull it up. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough to make two. But that's okay. And then just mess around with it until you're happy with it. You certainly don't have to pull it all the way up to the top. You can leave it just flat like that, it's totally okay. And then I'm going to check out my placement and see if I like it. Yeah, it's cute. So then what I'll do is I'll clip off the ends like this. It, you can do it any way. You could have a little triangle in the middle of them if you want to. And then I'm going to do a little bit of glue here in the back to make sure it doesn't unravel. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the glue on this side and place that heart down. I like to try to get them as even as possible. So I will place it down. I'll put some, some kind of craft mat down in case my glue goes to the other side. And I want to get a, I want to get them kind of uniform, so I'm going to set them next to each other. I'm going to place my glue down. You don't need a whole lot of glue. And I'm going to kind of estimate where I want this. So it's going to be pointing down in the middle. And then I'm going to push it down and move these, hopefully, where I want them while it's drying. Okay, so now I have, yay, this one. And that's done. I have two done. So I'm going to go ahead and do these last two and then show you the final product. And when you're done, you'll have really, really cute bookmarks for your Bible or for your traveler's notebook. And you can see here that I have one for Explore. And I wanted to just kind of give you an idea. If you have extra ribbon, all I did was just staple it into my page. So now it kind of coordinates with that bookmark. And there's prayer, there's fellowship, and there's heart. And I added a little ribbon there as well that I had. So I'm just going to have a lot of fun when I start to dive deep into this particular camp, revival camp kit. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, but I, I enjoyed setting up this notebook and I'm ready to now go ahead and get started. I hope that this video was helpful to you. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share our channel. Have a fabulous day now. We'll talk to you soon. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.